Hey, so now in this activity, we're going to learn how to connect up a little four-digit LED display so that we can see our temperature data. And you can use this to see any type of number. And we'll have another activity later where we can show text and have a more richer experience on a screen. But for now, we're going to use our four-digit display because it comes with our inventor kit. And it kind of looks like where it's got, a, when it's blanked out, it's got its four little eights right on it. So that's my little four-digit display. It even says it right on the chip itself. We're going to need our water temperature sensor again. We're going to need our Grove Shield. We are going to need our micro bit. And then we're going to need a little four-pin digital cable to connect it to our Grove Shield. And in make code, we have to add in a couple of extensions. As we saw beforehand, we have to add in a, this, an extension for our water temperature probe. So again, we learned that when you clicked on extensions, it didn't really exist. So we had to go to GitHub. And we had to search the term dstemp micro bit. And when we did that, one term shows up. It's this micro bit dstemp alpha. It's a version of the ds18b20 blocks. And so we click on that link and we get a URL we copy that URL and then we paste it into our extension shirt and we get a little block and we should get a little DS temp show up now the other block we're going to need is an easier one to find because all of our sensors are called Grove sensors so we just type the word Grove and you'll see a little grow block that shows up oh and here we are there's our little grove block so now we have some things we have to do now our micro bit right it's a chip set that we write programs to so it doesn't know a lot right it's knowledge is basically programmed by us so it doesn't know that we're going to attach a four digit probe to it so we need to tell hey, I'm going to attach this little four-digit screen to you. So first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to create a variable. And we're going to create this variable and say called four-digit display. So now I've got my four-digit block set up under my variable. And we're going to take this set four-digit display and we're going to put that in my on start block. Now I'm going to go back to my Grove block and I'm going to define where I have plugged that in. So I'm going to grab this four digit display and notice the same shape fits and it wants to latch it into that little circle. And I am going to take my shield and I am going to plug in my display on the port P2 and P16. Okay, So I'm going to give it a little plug in right there. And so again remember I2C P0, P1, P2. And remember when you look at your shield, it's got an extra pin attached. So it's P0 slash P14, P1 slash P15, P2 slash P16. And that's the one I'm going to plug it into. So that means I have to change my code to say P2 and P16. Oops. Because it's going to need both of those pins to send data to our display. One sends it to the first part, the other one sends it to the second part. Okay. So I can display two pieces of information here. Now, next thing that we're going to need to do is let's collect our data again. So let's go make another variable. I'm going to make my variable again water temperature. There's my water temperature variable. I'm going to drag it into my forever loop. And I'm going to go back to my DS temp block. And I'm going to set that temperature to my pin. And I am going to plug my water temperature into pin P0. Okay. So P0. Plug right in. And that's the default. So now, instead of displaying it on my micro bit, I'm going to want to display this on my little screen. So now I have to go back to my Grove block. Okay? And if you scroll down, 
it's got this show number and it's got a strip. So usually what it's wanting us to show is its default is something like an LED strip that we want to show something on this, you know, show a color or show something like that. So we have to change that variable. But I'm going to drag that block out. And instead of saying strip, I'm going to say my four digit display. Okay. And I am going to say, what do I want to show? I want to show my variable water temperature. Okay. So now my code has on the start, it says, hey, microbit, you're going to have a four digit display attached to you and that four digit display is that p2 and p16 okay so it's the one right on the very end when you're looking at it and you are going to have a water temperature probe connected at pin p0 okay? and in my forever loop we're going to set that water temperature to whatever it reads and i'm going to display that number on my water temperature probe Now I'm going to download this. Okay. I'm going to go to my downloads. I've got to plug in my micro bit so my computer sees it. Okay. And again, if all the lights are on, you're in good shape. Okay. So it should be scrolling the last program that I used. Okay. So I am waiting for the download to finish okay it looks like it is done there it is all right so now we're going to drag that to my micro bit all right perfect now you might end up getting a funny number on your four digit display. If you do, what you're going to have to do, and we'll have to do this most of the time, unplug your micro bit and make sure that your power is plugged into the shield. The shield can send more power to the ports than the micro bit can. And if you're not getting enough power, you're going to get a funny reading from your water temperature probe. And your display also will be fairly dim and you'll actually will get wrong readings on it as well. So right now it says that my temperature inside of here is 26 degrees. It's a little harder to see on the, on the camera screen. But now we can see that it says 26. Okay. So now if I hold this water temperature, I'll be able to see my water temperature change right on my four digit display. And it just went to 27. If I keep holding it, it should keep going up. Now it's up to 28. And now we can see our temperature data continuously as opposed to waiting for it to scroll across our micro bits.